You said to Mr. Depp, quote, you can please tell people that it was a fair fight and see what the jury and the judge think. Tell the world, Johnny. Tell them, Johnny Depp, I, Johnny Depp, a man, a victim, too, of domestic violence, end quote. That's what you said, right? I was saying it to the man who beat me up, yes. I thought it was preposterous. And the man you beat up numerous times. <laughs> Following a shocking TV interview in which she renewed her abuse charges against him and said she is terrified he will sue her, Johnny Depp might be trying to silence Amber Heard this week with Camille Vasquez's aide. Team Depp has reportedly moved for an injunction against the actress. So what exactly are they planning to do? What do people have to say about it? Keep watching to find out. Johnny Depp wants his legal team to secure an injunction to stop her defaming him over and over. A close buddy of Depp said she was found guilty of lying by a jury and she was found guilty. Johnny is adamant about not suing her again. What's the point of that? He does, however, expect her to respect the decision and leave him alone. Unfortunately, he believes that the only way to do so is by a court order, which if broken may lead to her being held in contempt. She's sinking deeper and deeper into a hole of pain and vengeance that could backfire spectacularly. On the hour-long primetime program, the ex-wife of the Pirates of the Caribbean star said, I shall stand by every word of my testimony till the end of my days. During their libel lawsuit, she accused him of lying. Surprisingly, when asked if she still loves her ex-husband during a Friday night interview on NBC's Dateline, Heard 36 responded, Absolutely. I loved him with all my heart and tried everything I could to make a badly damaged relationship work, but it was impossible. She plans to appeal the decision, which came after the couple's terrifying six-week civil war, which was broadcast live to tens of millions of people across the world. A jury in Virginia found Depp guilty on all but one count of multiple counts and awarded him $10.35 million in damages earlier this month. The Aquaman actress told Savannah Guthrie on the show that she intends to base her appeal on a binder holding years worth of therapy notes, in which she claims her ex-husband struck her, pushed her against a wall, and threatened to kill her. The same notes were disregarded as hearsay by Virginia Judge, and her defense team was prevented from using them in court. During the conversation, Heard made a portion of the content public for the first time. Guthrie had inquired about her. Do you stand by your testimony and your allegations of assault against Johnny Depp right now, as you sit here today? And he was told, of course, and I will continue to do so until I die. I'm aware of what occurred to me. As a survivor, I'm here. I shall stand by every word of my testimony to the end of my days. According to Guthrie, he claims that he has never hit you. Is that a fabrication? Yes, it is, said Heard. When asked if she was worried about Depp 59 suing her for defamation again, she said, no, I'm afraid, said the person who was overheard. Following her admission after the trial that she cannot afford to pay her ex-huge husband's damages judgment. The interview questioned her intentions for continuing her legal battle. Guthrie inquired, are you a bold person? Are you a risk taker? Are you vengeful? After losing her case, the actress who has received death threats, online hate mail, and seeing her Hollywood career crumble said, getting retribution would be a nightmare. My goal and the only thing I can hope for at this time is for people to perceive me as a person. I can't say I blame them, the jury. I understand he's a popular persona and actor and many people believe they know him. He's a fantastic performer. The majority of the trial was broadcast live on social media. I believe it would have been impossible for even the most impartial juror to ignore this. She claimed she was depicted online as a hysterical woman, a crazy woman. That was a promise to ruin me, which I feel he has, Heard said, referring to a text message from Depp that was read out in court in which he allegedly threatened to inflict complete global shame on her. However, only hours before the interview aired, the actress who had stated, I get to be a parent, like full time, issued a challenge to Depp before repeating her claims of domestic abuse and sexual assault. If Mr. Depp or his staff have a problem with this, we urge Johnny himself sit down with Savannah Guthrie for an hour and answer her questions, she stated in a statement. However, when it comes to Depp's business associate, Johnny isn't going to fall for that kind of trap. He's made his argument and is ready to go on. He's not out to kill her, despite what she may assume. He will, however, take her to court to stop her from making false claims. This has to come to an end. One fan commented, It's a good idea to include the injunction in the settlement and to require the settlement to be sealed. Then she can be punished in contempt if she breaches it to yell about how she's being silenced by the injunction.
Another user said, nothing should be done by the depth team, at least for now. The media and the general public will cease paying attention to Amber Heard and she will slip into obscurity, which will of course prompt her to do something dumb and childish, making her appear even worse. One more fan commented, I'm looking forward to her going to all the news channels and telling them she's being silenced or being persecuted by misogyny or some other nonsense like that. You and I both know she won't stop talking after an injunction. She won't claim Johnny abused her. Instead, she'll say something to the effect of JD is robbing her of her ability to express herself. Another stated, we don't know who this source is, so I'd wait for an official announcement from JD's team. I used to believe they should pursue her, but now I'm not so sure. I believe she should be admitted to a psychiatric facility and drugged. Personally, I do not believe they should take any action. She only wants Johnny's undivided attention. He must not stoop to her level of filth. He's presumably relaxing on his island, feeling free and joyful once more. He succeeded, regaining his career. Hollywood's respect and a whole new generation of fans in the process. Allow her to ramble on. The rest of the world isn't paying attention. Do you think Amber Heard will stop speaking of Johnny? Let us know in the comments down below. Make sure to like and subscribe for more.